Hello statisticians and welcome to our Excel video on 8.1. We're going to make a confidence interval for a population mean if we know what the population standard deviation is. It's very important whenever we're doing a confidence interval for a mean. The first question I ask is do I know the population standard deviation? Be careful not to just see the word standard deviation and think that means you can use this method because it might be the standard deviation of the sample of a small group. Do not use that and this method. This method requires us to know the population standard deviation. If we know the population standard deviation, we can find the margin of error in our confidence interval using the command equals confidence dot norm, open a parenthesis alpha, comma sigma, our standard deviation of the population, comma, the sample size. This will give us the margin of error, and then we can use that to find the upper and lower bounds. If we want to find the critical value that's used in the margin of error, we would do equals norm dot s dot inverse, or inv, open a parenthesis, and then we'll take our alpha divided by 2. Now, alpha is what's left after a confidence interval. So if the confidence interval is 95%, alpha would be the 5% that's left on the other end. So let's take a look at what these commands look like with an example. We've got a sample of 236 teens that revealed an average of 48.2 text messages sent in a day. We're going to assume it is known that the population standard deviation is 18.4. Notice we know the population standard deviation, so we are able to use the normal distribution in this case. So first, for our 90% confidence interval, we are going to find the critical value. And the critical value comes from the inverse standard normal command. So we will say equals norm.s.inv for inverse. And then for our probability, if we want a 90% confidence interval, 10% then is left over from the 90%. And we have to divide that by 2 because half of it's going to be in each tail. One thing to notice is the critical value will probably be negative with this command. We're going to use the positive version. So what actually we're going to use is our critical value is 1.64485. The positive version is actually the critical value. To calculate the margin of error, how far off our estimated average of 48.2 text messages might be, we're going to do equals confidence dot norm, open a parenthesis, alpha, which is 0.10, that's that 10% outside the confidence interval, comma, the standard deviation of the population is 18.4, comma, the sample is 236 teens. Close the parentheses, and we find out our margin of error is 1.97. To calculate the lower and upper bounds, then, we will take our average we got from our sample, and we will subtract and add this error. I could do that on Excel with equals 48.2 was the average, and then we'll subtract the error by just clicking it, enter, and equals 48.2, add the error by clicking it. And now I see that the lower bound is 46.23, and the upper bound is 50.17. When we interpret a confidence interval, it gives meaning and context to this, these bounds, the lower and upper bounds. We're talking about the average number of text messages sent in a day at 90% confidence. So for our interpretation, we can say that we are 90% confident that the average number of text messages sent in a day is between our lower bound of 46.2299 and our upper bound of 50.1701. Hopefully that helps make your confidence intervals when we know the population standard deviation. In our next video, we'll take a look at what we do if we don't know the population standard deviation and only have a sample standard deviation instead.